Hey guys, welcome to another Kronka tutorial. This video is going to be a complete Kronka CSS guide. This video will not be a tutorial on how to code in CSS, but it will help you to understand how to read and edit existing CSS so you can make your own Kronka CSS. As always, any additions, omissions, or clarifications to the content in this video will be added in the pinned comment below. Be sure to check that out. Let's begin. First up, I'm going to teach you how to install a CSS. So watch my complete Kronka resource swapper guide to learn how to install a swapper. Links are in the description below. After you have installed your swapper, create a CSS folder. Inside that, drop your CSS files. It should be named main underscore custom and social underscore custom. Now we're going to enter our CSS file, copy its contents. Alright, go to your browser and open Kronka. Hold Control shift i Navigate to sources. Under cronker.io under CSS, there should be a main underscore custom.css. Paste that in, and you have loaded your CSS. This is how you load your CSS in a browser. Feel free to host the game. Set it to like 0 minutes so it's infinite time. And yep, you're in. Full screen. Basically, you're in here, right? And now I'm gonna teach you what the code means. Just gonna run through my CSS. It, it has basically everything you need to know. At the top, root, accent color, health color, etc. These are the main colors of your CSS. You can change them here. For example, the premium color and verified color. For fonts, you copy this and change this this file. The gtastic one. It's in FAQ. Yeah. So question, how do I change the font of a CSS? You drop your font into Dropbox, upload, then copy the link, add a dl.dropboxusercontent.com at the front to replace the dropbox.com and then paste it into here, this part. Okay, this instruction holder thing is to make a blur in the background. Like when you haven't loaded in the game, there'll be a blur to the, like behind the click to play. I found all this in like the Kronker CSS Discord, just yonking the CSS. So basically you have your own CSS file and you can copy parts of people's code, put them in and it'll work. That's, that's how you create your own custom CSS. Take other people's CSS, put them in. You can put a slash, a forward slash, asterisk, space, and then you can credit them. So be sure to do that for this. It's gonna be a loader. It's a custom loader. You can change it. You can change those stuff. A uh, timer icon. Basically, how to change a timer icon? You go to a timer display, and you change the width, the left and the right, and the width and the height. If you don't want to show anything like the ads, just go to the CSS time display colon space none. Say you wanna find a particular part of the CSS, go to elements. Press this. And say this on the right, it shows you. So just copy that. Click this, and you can copy whatever CSS from the main un main under oh main dot CSS. Moving on, FPS display all this. It's basically changing the position, the size, and the color too. Ping is the same. For health bar, health bar sag. It's so that all the segments in the health bar are smashed together so it looks like one complete bar because in the default CSS it's a few segments right so you use health bar sec and then the width height left right and all that is to change the position for the ammo it's going to be pasted from the yuki CSS which is <laughs> uh, which is basically uh, just changing the position removing the ammo icon that's all. The chat basically pasted the entire thing from the MOF1 CSS and then change the position. Change the change of position is gonna be uh, using chat holder. So this to chat holder you change it right here. Chat input and in game. Just change it until you you find it good. Let's say uh font size See, font size, if I change it to 202, the enter text here will be really big. 
my new CSS will be pasted from external CSS. So all this is copied. Some other interesting CSS, for example here, it's a custom clan, custom clan color, a verified CSS, and a custom level and all that. So if you want, you can join on Discord, and all this will be here. That should be it. That's all for this tutorial. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below on the Discord server. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <coughs>